Hello everybody, good to see you. We're doing a special holiday edition of Full Force. It's one day after Christmas, so it's Boxing Day here in Canada, and I'm cuddled up inside, staying away from the massive crowds. Uh, it's basically Canada's Black Friday, or The Purge. But we're going with a mono artifact deck today, so that was the most voted for archetype. Uh, we want it was not necessarily mono artifacts. But we're trying to do like a lot of artifact ramps, so it's going to be things that matter with artifacts. We want to get like Talarian Academy and Metalworker uh, cards like Blightsteel Colossus. <laughs> the big payoff cards for us to kind of ramp a lot of colorless mana are going to be Blightsteel, Mere Battle Sphere, Karn, uh, and we're going to try and ramp all of those cards together by getting, like I said, like Metal Worker and the uh, Workshop. We want Mishra's Workshop. We want uh, Tolarian Academy. All those kinds of cards. Grim Monolith and Basalt Monolith and your kind of typical ramp cards. So we're going to try and ramp out to really, really powerful artifact cards. And we, to do that, we're going to need a lot of things like Signets. So I'm glad to get Blightsteel. Normally I would take a Signet... Um, over a lot of finishers. I think that the one exception is Blightsteel Colossus. Just because it ends the game so fast. Because we can certainly splash, like, Through the Breach or Sneak Attack. Uh, we can certainly play Tinker if we find it. Like, we would love Tinker. Tinker is one of the number one cards you can get in Artifact Deck. So, having something like Blightsteel Colossus is very powerful. Sheldock Isle is a good way to cheat it into play. And, and Blightsteel just kills people unbelievably quickly. There's a, not a lot of cards that deal with it. Like, they can have something like Pernicious Deed, but even if they have the 12 mana, it doesn't kill it. Like, uh, Hero's Downfall doesn't. Vindicate and Anguish on Making Do. Like, Swords and Path Do. But there's not a lot of other removal spells. I mean, it, it's hard to kill a card like Blightsteel Colossus. And you die to it very quickly. Uh, Wildfire is great in this deck, actually. I might try and wheel it. But there's really nothing else here anyways. Maybe some dual, like maybe a Polluted Delta or a Stomping Ground. I think Delta is enough better that I want that. If I'm going to play something like Wildfire, I'm probably going to need a card like Polluted Delta. So I'll take it here. Uh, the reason why Wildfire is so good is because you don't really need lands in this deck if you can get enough Artifact Ramp. And so you just blow up the board over and over and over, and your board is mostly unaffected because it's all artifact ramp cards. So Wildfire is pretty solid. Uh, I'll take the Delta, though. And now we have ooh, Battle Sphere, another finisher. I'm not finding a lot of ramp cards. That's one of the problems with this deck, is that, I mean, everybody wants Signets. Who doesn't want a Signet? Signets are fantastic. Like... You're always going to play these in cube decks. They're really, really good. And so it's hard to get a lot of them. You've got to get a little bit lucky to get, like, Mox and Signets and Grim Monolith or Mana Vault. Those are the kinds of cards that you're looking for. Soul Ring's a really good one, obviously. Soul Ring's the best card in cube, period, I think. Hmm. So we can take the Battle Ball. I could take Mana Confluence. Um, I don't think I want Temple of Mystery. Time Twister doesn't seem like the kind of card that we're looking for. I think I like the Battle Sphere. Just a little bit over Mana Confluence. Alright, I'll take Battle Sphere. Sundering Titan's good finisher. Uh, Balance is really good in this deck. It's much like another version of Wildfire, because it blows up a bunch of lands. Doesn't destroy your artifacts. Lands and creatures, hand. Wooded Foothills isn't bad. Sundering Titan's definitely a good payload. Preordain's nice. So there's some very good cards in this pack. I really like Balance, though, I think. People really underestimate how powerful Balance is. It, when it goes off, it really goes off. It'll win you a game. It doesn't always have that situation, but the situations where it is good are like, it's an automatic win half the time, so you, you've got to just take it. I think that, like, other than that, I might take the Preordain. Sundering Titan's great, but we already have Battle Sphere and Colossus, so I, I'll take something a little bit cheaper this time. Wrath of God. It's not the worst. Temple of Silence. Revoker. Hmm. Inquisition's really good, actually. I might just take an Inquisition, because we can play a bunch of colors. Inquisition is great proactive kind of control. 
stop them from doing anything silly. The thing is I don't like the Wrath of Gods all that much. There's a lot of decks that don't rely on a ton of creatures, decks like ours, where we're going to try and get like Blightsteel Colossus down early, cheated into play by doing a bunch of ramp or by doing like a Tinker kind of co uh, combo. So it doesn't really play well against decks like ours, and there's a fair number of decks like that, so I don't love the Wrath of God. I'll try Inquisition. Uh, Banisher Priest doesn't do a whole lot. Badlands is okay. I've got the Polluted Delta, this way it'll fix blue and red at least. Even if I don't play black, and I've, I have Inquisition to play black too. Not to mention, like, I want to get that Wildfire back, so fixing red mana is okay. Grab the Badlands. Tezzeret the Seeker. Okay, so that's a really good artifact enabler. I don't have a lot of artifacts yet. And Course of Portal is pretty good. I mean, it is an artifact and it's fairly useful. It draws you extra cards until you want to blow up the board. And I certainly wouldn't mind playing Course of Portal. But I think Tezzeret the Seeker is just a little bit better. And I'd really like to try and get this artifact kind of train rolling. If I can get the artifacts, then Tezzeret's a nice one. Ooh, Smash to Smithereens is really good against us, and just kind of an awesome card in general. People really underestimate how good blowing up artifacts is in this format, but like, we just saw, like, it's hard to, for us to get signets because everybody wants them, so most people run at least, like, three artifacts, even in their, you know, low artifact decks. Like, I think a few number of artifacts would be, like, three in this cube. Two or three isn't a lot, and a lot of decks have a lot more than that, so Smash is always live. Very rare that it isn't. Dark Petition. Uh, black black White Hate Bears is certainly open from last week. Balance, Brutality, Inquisition, Tide Hollow. All coming back around. I'm going to take the Dark Petition, though. We might be able to use that for something. And searching things up out of your deck is always powerful. Alright, we got Wildfire, so that's a good sign. Because if we're getting Wildfire, then it probably means that nobody's got, like, a ton of Artifact Ramp. So we might be able to still get into this archetype. Take the Mana Confluence. What I really want to open though is Tinker. More than just about anything. The other card that I would want to open a little bit more than Tinker is Soul Ring, but that's really it. I'm not even 100% certain that I don't want Tinker more than Soul Ring. Even though Soul Ring's insane, it's just that Tinker Blightsteel is just too busted. Guess I'll take an Emrakul, sure. Being able to, like, turn to Blightsteel is just dumb. If you can get a Mox in, then it's very possible to do that. And there's not a lot of decks that can deal with turn two Tinker. Uh, well. Got a Coalition Relic. No Tinker. No Sol Ring, nothing like that. Metamorph is good. It's certainly not bad. Relic is awesome. Worn Power Stone is certainly good. But Relic makes two mana, much like Worn Power Stone does. Um, it makes it every other turn, but you can kind of arrange it so that your important turns have the two mana, and it's colored mana, which can be a big difference. So I think Relic's a little better than Power Stone. Plus, it doesn't enter the battlefield tapped, which is a uh, pretty important thing a lot of the time. Alright, so we've got Relic. There's some... Pretty decent Planeswalkers, Splinter Twins, some Fetch Lands, Dual Land, Looter is nice. I'm going to take the Hedron Archive though. We need more ramp, we only have two cards worth of ramp right now. We have a Tezzeret too, so that'll help ramp if we have like more artifact, uh, artifact ramp mana. And we need to find a way to get Blightsteel Colossus online. If we're not going to be able to tinker it out, then I want to be able to ramp it out. And Hedron Archive does help with that a bit. Plus, again, like I said, I mean, Wildfire. We have a lot of stuff that works with that kind of card right now. Tez, Wildfire, Battle Ball, and Dark Steel all are da demanding a Hedron Archive there. Now we've got uh, not a whole lot. Verterous Gear Hulk. Don't think we need that. Solemn Simulacrum could be okay. It's not amazing or anything, but. Uh, Decent enough, like, chump blocks against an aggro deck. Gets you a fair bit of value all the time. I don't think I need Gush or Incinerate. Vendillion Click. Like, I don't know, Double Blues, kind of tough. 
gosh, I'm not likely to have a bunch of islands in place so that we can bounce it to our hand for free. I don't know. I, I like the Solemn a little bit more. Now we have Inkwell Leviathan, which is a really good artifact finisher. But we've got a few of those already. We can even, if we can manage to get enough mana, it's possible for us to even go for like an Emrakul. Smokestack, this is another artifact. That doesn't do a whole lot. Crater's Claws is good as a like top end for a bunch of ramp, but I don't think we have enough ramp for that yet. Maybe Brainstorm? The one downside to Brainstorm is that you need a lot of shuffle effects to make it really good, because otherwise you can just like, you look at the top three of your library, which is awesome, but what if they're bad cards and you don't want to draw them? Well, then you're just kind of stuck, and you just have like two turns where you know you're not doing anything, and that's really bad. If you can shuffle those cards away, then it's insane, but that doesn't happen all that often. Ancient Grudge is amazing against us. I think that I'll just brainstorm. We don't really have any draw yet, and I need a little bit. Armageddon wouldn't be that bad, but we already have Wildfire and Balance, and Thran Dynamo is exactly what we're looking for. More Artifact Ramp. So we'll slam that. Academy Ruins is certainly a reasonable card for us. Rebuying any of our killed artifacts is kind of important. Plus, rebuying Hedron Archive after we sacrifice it is nice. Uh, could grab Verdant Catacombs. It fetches Badlands. So that helps a little bit with the red splash. I don't know. I'm not 100% on that one. I'm trying to play balance here too, though. We need a lot of mana to work this out. I don't have a lot of fixing yet. I'm thinking that Ruins will wheel. I'm also not like... It's not an amazing card unless you're going for like the Mind Slaver lock and we don't have Slaver. So I'm going to take the Catacombs and just try and fix our mana. Spell Pierce is also somewhat reasonable. Wow, Ashiok. Okay, Ashiok is nuts. There is Overgrown Tomb, Temple of Enlightenment. I don't have any green yet, and I don't think I'm going to splash it, so I don't want the Overgrown Tomb, I don't think. I'm going to grab the Ashiok. If this is like a white-green fetch land, then I'd probably grab the Overgrown Tomb, or at least think about grabbing Overgrown Tomb, just because you can get, like, then white or black mana. But, I mean, since this already would fetch black mana, that doesn't really help to have Overgrown Tomb. It's off color in the wrong way. And Ashiok is fantastic. This card's tough to deal with. Thalia is scary. Making our spells cost more is bad, but... And I could hate it. There's Is It Charm if I really want that. Is It Charm's not that bad. I might just take the Charm. Hangerback Walker, I guess, is fine. It's a way for us to pump a bunch of colorless mana into it, and then it's good post-balance or something. Actually, it's good with Wildfire or Balance, because if it dies, then you just get a bunch of tokens. Wipe the board. All right, I, I'll, I've changed my mind. I kind of like the hanger back. Uh, Disenchant? I don't want to play against Disenchant. I don't think I want to play with Disenchant either, but I don't care about playing with any of these cards. It seems like white's going to be a splash, which is why I don't want Disenchant. Otherwise, like, Disenchant is a very powerful card. Like, really awesome. In this cube, killing artifacts is great. That's why cards like Torchfiend are really awesome in the mono red deck. Uh, I am going to take Looter Ilkor here, I think. Temple of Deceit is fine, but there's only so many temples I can run. I already have Temple of Silence. I don't like a lot of tap lands. I mean, you can fix your mana that way, but it makes your deck insanely slow to have, like, four tap lands, and I just don't think that it's worth it. I'm hating Ancient Grudge. I don't need Smokestack, and Faithless Looting isn't good for us either. That's more of a combo card. Wow, that is a stupid late Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize is awesome. It's so good in this cube. Uh, we saw it last week when we did the Black-White Hate Bears deck. Like, cards like Thoughtseize, you can just pick out one piece of, like, a really important combo out of your opponent's deck... And then, what do they do? Like, if in our deck, if we get a Tinker, right? We keep a hand that's like, Signet, Lands, Tinker, and, you know, Dark, Blight, uh, sorry, not Blight, Steel, Colossus. Um, but like, let, we, let's just say that we'd keep a hand with like, a Brainstorm, a Signet, and a bunch of Lands, and a Tinker, right? We totally would keep that hand. 
well, they take the Tinker, and then it's like, I mean, sure, we've got Brainstorm, maybe we draw something else, but, like, it really hurts our deck. Like, it's bad, bad, bad news to get, like, a Tinker or something taken out of a deck that's trying to go for it. Or to take, like, a Sneak Attack out of the Sneak Attack deck, or Channel out of a Channel deck, like, Fast Bond out of a deck that's trying to upheaval Fast Bond. There's so many little combos like that. Like, you can just go on forever, you know, Splinter Twin and Kiki and... Tons and tons and tons of like one or two card combos that you can just hate on and then suddenly their hand like that they thought was awesome is just not comboing out and they have nothing to do. Like if you take a, a better example even than the Tinker is if you have like a channel. Like if somebody has channel and you thought sees channel and they have like a hand that's got like a Blightsteel in it, they were just going to go turn two Blightsteel. Well now Blightsteel's stranded in their hand and they have like nothing to do and it's just so bad. Anyways, uh, we've got a bunch of fixing here. A lot of really good cards. Steam Vents, Underground Sea, Frantic Search is nice. I love Counterspell. I think I want the Underground Sea. Pretty reasonable to take Steam Vents, but I have Badlands for that already. So I'm going to take the Underground Sea. I wouldn't mind Counterspell or Frantic Search, but the mana is a little bit rough right now, and I need to fix that. Ooh, Metal Worker and Mishra's Workshop. Sick. These are the cards that we were looking for. It's too bad that I had to pass the Metal Worker, but I'm gonna guess it'll come back just because we did manage to get a fair number of ramp artifacts. We managed to wield the Wildfire, so I don't think that anybody's specifically in the artifact deck. I think that it's probably that like a lot of the random artifact ramp cards are awesome in every deck, so they just get picked up. It's not like we're specifically being hated out, and those decks won't want a Metal Worker because you need a lot of artifacts to make Metal Worker work. Like, you need 10 plus at least, I think. But Workshop's pretty easily the best card there. Less likely to wheel. Tolarian Academy. All right, well, we're getting all the lands that we need. I need a few more artifacts. I'd love the Baleful Strix. Like, right now we have one, two, three, four, five early ones. I definitely need more to run Academy, but hoping we can pick them up. Yeah, Windmill Slam Rakdos Signet. Don't care about Scrubland. Like, sure, we have Balance. But this fixes red mana anyways, and I desperately need the artifacts. I will take an artifact almost just over just about anything. Hey there. Well, I definitely will say that people are not uh, not hating out the artifact deck. because That is a late tinker, and I'm exceptionally happy. Suddenly this deck went from being like, yeah, decent, not great, to probably insane. We don't have any power, which is a problem. I mean, we didn't get any mocks, and we didn't get Black Lotus or like Ancestral Recall, so that's a bit, you know, of a disappointment. Obviously, mocks with Tinker or like Mana Vault with Tinker, things like that are really insane. We're not going to get those cards now. They're just too powerful. They wouldn't have been passed. But for having like no Mana Vault, Soul Ring, Power Nine as an artifact deck, this is looking good. <laughs> Tinker is nice, and we get another Signet here. This is starting to look really awesome. Oh my goodness, another Signet. Sneak Attack's cool and all, but more Signets to fuel the Wildfire, to fuel the uh, Talarian Academy and Workshop, possibly get back that Metal Worker. I like Tezzeret too. Oof. Actually, Tezzeret's really nice. One, two, three, five, six, seven. I think that I need the Girl Signet still, which is too bad. There's some great cards here for us. I might be able to get the Tezzeret back, because... I mean, a non-artifact deck just doesn't want Tezzeret. I would not mind seeing a Burning of Zinyi. Brimstone Volley, Nevi's Disc. Nevi's Disc is good against us. Sadly, Trinket Mage, we don't have any of the one mana, fa ma one mana or like zero mana artifacts that are really good ramp. The Moxin, Soul Ring, Mana Vault. So we can't really take Trinket Mage. Um, Brimstone Volley can kill things. But it's not great at doing that. Maybe just take the Nivineral's Disc. Eh, I don't know. I'm not happy with any of these. I guess the Disc. Probably just sideboard it though. We might be able to get to a point where we've got like an Ashiok or a Tezzeret and we just want to protect them. We have a couple of, you know, decent Planeswalkers. Frantic Search, Ulamog, Murderous Cuts, Murderous Cuts 
pretty good removal for us, honestly. And it does look like we're playing black. Like, it's we're mostly Grixis, maybe splashing the balance. I'm going to try and splash balance. It should be good. Do I want to splash the balance? Or, or do I want to splash the balance? Do I want to play the Murder's Cut or do I want to play Frantic Search? Hmm. Frantic Search to find the Tinker is pretty important. I think that I'm just going to go a little bit more combo and try and Frantic Search for the Tinker. Wheel of Fortune for Tinker? Yep, I'll do it. I accept. That is a great card. Didn't get back the Metal Worker, though, which really is a problem. I guess somebody else was trying to do it, or they decided to hate it out after they saw the Tinker going late and the Academy being passed. Like, maybe they saw Academy and Tinker afterwards, and when Metal Worker came back around, they noticed that, like, Mishra's Workshop was gone, and they were like, uh, yeah, I don't want to deal with that. I could totally understand them doing that. Desecration Demon kills us really quickly. Might not want to deal with that. Ooh, Thirst for Knowledge? Holy crap, that is such a good card. Uh, Grim Tutor. Temple of Triumph. I only have one Temple right now, and I want to play this balance, so I might just play the Temple of Triumph. Grim Tutor doesn't seem like it's happening. Forge Master. That's not bad. Ooh, and Tezzeret Wield. So somebody hated out the Metal Worker, but didn't hate out the Tezzeret. All right, fair enough. Too bad that they had to hate, pa hate pick a card at all. Uh, let's take out Brainstorm, because I don't think I have enough fetches. I only have... One, two, two fetches. Yeah, that's not enough. We can take out... Hmm. 25 cards. I might take out the Frantic Search. Now that I got the Thirst for Knowledge. We have Looter, Thirst, Wheel of Fortune. Maybe Koldatha Forge Master. I kind of like it. Might be able to get away with only 16 lands, play have 24 playables. With three signets and things like Mishra's Workshop, that might be okay. It's close. It's really close. I mean, Forge Master getting the Blight Steel is pretty sick, though. Hmm. I don't necessarily need Collective Brutality. I already have Thoughtseize Inquisition. Take out that. Let's do it this way. Sort by colors. We'll add some lands. And I think we're good to go. We need one planes for sure. I think we want one more. That'll give us four white sources. Do we have any signets that make white? We have a relic. I guess that that's already four for balance. That might be okay. We don't want to play balance super early. Although it does get fetched by Solemn, so that might be a reason to keep it. Yeah, Solemn fixing the mana is pretty important. This is three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Oh, yeah, we can definitely do with less. I think we can do with less red mana, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven red mana plus signets. Yeah, I think we can go like this, even. That gives us nine blue. The blue is kind of important because it lets us draw cards, like whether it's looter or thirst, plus tinker we need to have like right away. So I think I like this. And I will submit. I'll see everybody for round one. This is looking pretty interesting. I don't think it, it's far from the best Tinker deck that I've ever had, but it's pretty solid. The Wheel of Fortune is a nice way to search for the Tinker quickly. And, I mean, we've just got a lot of powerful cards. Blightsteel is the best payload for Tinker. Wildfire is pretty great with all of our artifact mana. We picked up a lot of Signets in that last pack, which really saved us. And we've got some of the good ramp for it uh, with, like, Workshop and Academy. Some good lands that work with them. But yeah, looking nice, and I'll see you for round one. Oh, that's so bad. Well, what do we do? Nothing we can do about it. Just gotta hope to draw something better. Card draw, tinker, blightsteel itself. Do we have enough mana to hardcast it? I think we do.